Good day. Today you're going to be shown how to do an installation of Palladium using the one-click install. The first thing I'm going to do is show you where you can get the one-click install and secondly I'll show you how to go about installing Palladium and all its prerequisites using the one-click install. First you can find the one-click install on our Palladium website. Um, the website is www.palladium.co.za. Alright, once you are there, you need to go to resources and download Palladium. Okay, once I click on that, it will take me to the window where I can do my um, downloads. There's the, manual, there's the manual download and the one-click install. Today we will be doing the one-click install, so I'll scroll down. Go to my Palladium Accounting Enterprise, click on Download. Okay. Of course, after here, it will just ask me to give in my details so that the sales guys can um, be able to contact uh, you after downloading and assist you if need be, or even do a survey on how you heard about Palladium and so forth. Okay. Once you complete those uh, details, um, it will take you to this place where it tells you that thank you for your information and please click on the link to download the software. I'll click on the link here and you will see that it will start the download down here of the um, Palladium one click install. Right. I can install it just from there. The installation is quite simple. So if I can just double click on that, it will start the installation wizard. Okay, on this I'll say yes. And it will start with the installation. Okay, so Palladium has got a couple of prerequisites. Um, it is going to ask me those questions in terms of what do I, what kind of installation do I want to install on the particular machine that I'm doing now. All right, um, so on this stage here, if I click on next there, you'll see that it wants me to accept the terms I'll accept the terms after reading all the terms over there. And then here is where it asks me what kind of installation do I want to do. There are three options there, as we can see. We've got the dedicated server, the standalone, and the workstation. I'm going to take this time to explain what each of those would mean. All right. If you select dedicated, which is a dedicated server, which is usually what you install on the server, that installation will not install Palladium, but will install SQL and the database, the Palladium database. That's why it's used on the server. Uh, and this is in a case where you are not going to be using Palladium on that particular server. Okay, so if we read over here, you'll see that it says Microsoft SQL Server is required to be installed on the server. SQL Server 2014 Express will be installed if no SQL Server is installed on the server. Palladium Accounting Enterprise version 10 or V10 will not be installed, only the database. Okay, so that's the kind of installation that you do if you're installing on, on, a, on a server that is not going to be using the Palladium software. The second option we have over there is standalone. The standalone you use when you are going to have a um, um, use Palladium on, on a machine that is not going to be connected to a server or connected to a cloud hosting. So you'd want that machine to also have SQL on it so that it acts as a standalone machine. It can, it can uh, accommodate the, the Palladium database that will come with Palladium. Okay, so let's read through it. It says Palladium Accounting Enterprise v V10 and Microsoft SQL Server is required. SQL Server 2014 Express will be installed if no SQL is already installed. You can select this option for a server installation if Palladium Accounting Enterprise V10 is required on the server. So if you're going to, if the server also will, will be using Palladium, if there's a user that's going to be using Palladium on that server, you can use standalone on the server as well so that Palladium can be installed on the server. Okay, and then the third, um, uh, option we have over there is the workstation. The workstation you use um, only when you, your machine is going to be connected to a, to, to a server. So if you're going to have a network server or a, um, a hosted, a cloud hosted server, 
you can now use workstation only that will only install um, palladium enterprise software and then you will configure the connection to that particular server that you're going to connect to all right let's read what it says there only palladium um, accounting enterprise v10 is required you will have to select the server where the database microsoft sql server is installed please make sure that this computer can access the server on the network okay for this particular uh, video i'm going to select standalone so that you can see how it's like when it installs uh, sql where it installs palladium enterprise and where it installs all the other prerequisites like your crystal reports runtime okay i'm going to click next after standalone and then now it asks me details about the sql server um, that you want to install the first one is um, where it comes with the tools. So you'll see that here it says this package contains everything needed to, um, to install the conf uh, and configure SQL Server as a database server. Okay, so this one at the top does not come with tools. And then the one at the bottom comes with tools. Their tools would be your um, configuration managers, your... Uh, um, a management studio they'll come with the second package over there I'm going to go with that so that it, it brings also the tools that I can use uh, to manipulate data or to restore data uh, when I need all right so I'm going to go Microsoft SQL Server 2014 service pack 1 Express booth tools okay and then it gives me information about the, um, where it's going to be stored in um, the program files i'll click on next if i need that changed i can change that there but no need to change it there leave everything as default and then from here i click install it will now start my installation it's going to take its time obviously to set up everything to configure uh, we will wait for it a bit um, until it finishes Okay, it looks like it's still downloading um, the files from uh, SQL. And then once it is done, it should give us a window where we'll now start the setup for our SQL Server uh, configuration. Okay, once it's done with uh, doing the SQL part of things, it will move on to now start installing the Palladium. The process that you're seeing now, it is copying files uh, for the Palladium installation. It is done with the uh, uh, configuration for SQL and now configuring um, Palladium accounting V10. Okay, and once that is done, uh, if it picks up or notices that... Um, uh, other prerequisites are installed on the current machine that you're doing or on that workstation it will skip those installation for example on my side it noticed that um, i've got crystal reports runtime already installed so it skipped that installation uh, but if it's not installed installed on your machine it will go ahead and start the installation and configuration for crystal reports runtime you really do not have to do anything the system does everything already it is already set up in the back end to do a configuration and an installation of the right things on your system okay once you click on finish and go on to your desktop you'll notice now that palladium will have, would have been installed already on your uh, desktop if I double click on that now you will see that it will open palladium and um, if um, and start installing the databases or the simple database onto that instance okay this will conclude today's uh, video and basically that's how you use the one stall uh, or the one click install to install palladium and its prerequisite thank you for listening goodbye